20th Century Fox released the first trailer and poster for Assassin's Creed last night. Directed by Justin Kurzel, who directed Macbeth, the film stars Michael Fassbender as death row inmate Callum Lynch, who is whisked away to Abstergo and through revolutionary technology, is enabled to experience the memories of his ancestors Aguiar in 15th century Spain. The film opens December 21st and also stars Marion Cotillard, Jeremy Irons, Brendan Gleeson, and Michael K. Williams. Christian, what do you think about the first trailer for Assassin's Creed? Loved it. However, uh, wrong choice in music. Same thing. It seems to be a. It seems to be happening with whether it's a Star Trek trailer or a Ghostbusters. Tra oh no, Ghostbusters was fine. But this, there's certain choices in music that have not worked. This was one of them with the I think Kanye song just didn't work. That being said, really liked what I saw. I think that I played the first game. I didn't play the others, but I from what. I remember the first game. This was a very, and I haven't seen the whole movie, but very true adaptation from the game into what fans wanted to see in overall feature film. I think Fassbender and Cotillard obviously have their chemistry from Macbeth. It looks like it's carrying over here. I like the tone of it. I like the dive at the very end, very reminiscent of the game. But I think what we're going to see here is an adaptation of a game that can go to fans that won't be lost if they haven't played. That's what it certainly looked like. I think that it sold itself enough on the premise of this kind of sci-fi crazy movie that is putting you into this kind of fantasy action realm as well. So I am... I'm on board. I like what I saw so far. It, it, yeah, I'm enjoying it. Clark? Yeah, I liked the trailer a lot too. And I think the thing that you pointed out is really important, which is um, already starting to explain to people who are not necessarily game that play the game what this world is, how it's possible. I noticed that actually in some of Marion Cotillard's VO, kind of saying, this is what this is. It's not like this. And in and, and introducing us to what this world is and how it functions, I think that's going to be really important because I do think it's important if you want to have a mainstream stream wide widely popular film to you know invite not only right. the hardcore gamers but also uh the the new people too also uh i know this isn't like breaking news but you know the december release date is really confident mm -hmm. i mean it's a christmas movie essentially i think that's kind of interesting and i thought it looked very cool i will say about the music because i had read the reactions to the music last night and thought oh my god what could you know and i watched the trailer and i was like Okay, I mean, I didn't, it wasn't as shocking or as jarring to me. Would I have picked something different? Maybe, but I wasn't as like offended by Kanye West being in there. And also, I think it's trying to say, look, like you have these respected actors in Fassbender, Cotillard, uh, Jeremy Irons, you're having a period piece, you know, by adding something like Kanye West that gives it maybe a little more pop culture, uh, you know, um, what am I trying to say? Like a connection. Yeah. I, I think that that, I, that was probably what they were going for. It's unnecessary though. Yeah, I mean, yeah. and that's fair. They were probably just a little too cautious and yeah. trying to do something so mainstream as Kanye, but... Jeff? Here comes the Grinch. <laughs> <laughs> I hated this trailer. Really? I thought it was absolutely terrible. Uh, I don't know how they convinced Fassbender and Marion Cotillard uh, to be in this movie. The only thing I liked was Marion's hair and, like you said, that dive shot at the end. The Kanye music is indicative that they uh, uh, just shows you how they have no idea how to sell this thing. I don't like the release date, especially going against Rogue One. Um, which is comes out what the 18th? 18th. Yeah, so three days before this movie, um, I think I think Fox is in trouble on, on this one. I mean, uh, the guys in hoodies with bow and arrows, and they're d jumping around like it's but crouching that's what tiger. The game, but that's what the game was. The well, game is immensely popular. I, so. I, I don't I don't play the game. I think the games are popular because they're games and they're interactive. And well, there's I no just, premise here that you think could be could be popular. I'll, I'll put it this way: if you've been waiting to, uh, if kids have been waiting for a movie about uh, the Spanish Inquisition. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, they'll be delighted, but uh, <laughs> welcome to the Spanish Inquisition is not the big line, like, should not be the big line in your trailer. I'm going to make a prediction here. I think you're going to change your tune when you see the movie. I think, I, I think, because you and I see screenings. May, maybe. I liked uh, Justin Kurzel's Snowtown. Yeah. I hated Macbeth, actually. I thought, you know, it was gorgeous visuals, but it was an unwatchable film. Unwatchable. What, Macbeth? Yes. Um... So we'll we'll see okay. if he can make that leap to blockbusters. He's never done it before. I don't know if if he has that kind of sensibility. Um, yeah. All right, I'm, well, I'm willing to be to, to be convinced otherwise. Well, thank you for joining us in Happy Town. <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.